In the last video, I showed you some of my scripts on multi-selecting files to process with a shell script. Today, we're going to be looking at a few of those scripts in detail and actually look at the code and weigh some of the pros and cons. So let's jump right in. So again, as I stated in the last video, uh, my GitLab page, gitlab.com forward slash metalx1000, I have a project called bash multi-file select with the scripts we're going to be looking at today. There are multiple. We're going to look at uh, two or maybe three of the scripts today because it's pretty short, pretty straightforward. But real quick, we're going to look at the FZF option. So FZF, I'm going to run that. It's going to list out the files that are in this directory. And I can, well, I can click with my mouse to choose one if I wanted. But I can use tab to select the ones I want. And if I wanted to filter, I can do HDR and just show the HDR ones, although I did select some that aren't being shown right now. It shows right here that we're looking at 21 of 39 and I have 10 selected when I hit enter. It's gonna convert them to black and white, desaturate them. So let's look at this code real quick. So files, FCF. Again, the top part's just the header, copyright information. And down here, okay, inder, outder, the input directory, output directory. Again, as I mentioned in the last video, I purposely put spaces in these folder names. That's something you really should avoid, but a lot of people don't. And I wanted to take that into account with our code because if you don't and someone puts a space in a file name or a folder that you're selecting, everything goes wrong. So I purposely did that, but we have an input directory, an output directory, and then we're going to create the output directory. We're using make dir, so make a directory. I'm using a dash p option uh, because what that will do is if the file already, if the folder already exists, you won't get an error in this particular case. And also if you have multiple subdirectories that don't exist, it will create all of them instead of having to create one at a time. Now, FZF, if you just run FZF, it will list all files in the current directory you're running it in if you don't pass it anything. I want to pass it our directory and in this case only JPEG images. So I'm saying find, we're looking at our input directory. I'm saying iname asterisk.jpg because some like my uh, Canon camera capitalizes JPEG, um, but there's also only looking for JPG. If you wanted to look for PNGs or sometimes JPEG, you would have to update the find command. Now we're piping that into FCF. We're using the dash M option, which allows us to multi-select, which is the whole point of this script. And then I'm giving a prompt, select photos to convert, okay? Now, once we select them all and we hit enter, it's going to dump the list that we've selected into this while loop and for each file. So what are we doing here? It's saying this is a shorthand for an if then statement. What it's saying is check the file, okay? If the file does not exist, so if, if it's a blank file, so basically if we didn't select anything with FCF, break. Just break out of the loop and continue the script, which is the end of the script. We have a little bit of output here. We're echoing out file and the file name, so we know where we're at in the process. And then I'm just using uh, image magic to convert it to grayscale. I, I just realized I have type grayscale in there twice. I only need that in there once. Okay. Anyway, uh, so let's again run that script because I don't think I've shown if I was to not select any. So how do you not select any? It's like it looks like because if I just hit one now, it's going to select the one I'm on. So how do you not select any? Well, if I type in a bunch of gibberish and there's nothing in the list, I hit enter, the script just exits. If I didn't have that, it would try to process nothing and you'd get a little error on the screen. Not a big deal. So that's the overview of our FCF uh, multi-file select. Works great, but again, some people aren't comfortable with the shell. Personally, I think it's a lot, it's, it's a great option for most things. We can use Zenity. Zenity is already pre-installed on a lot of systems. If not, it's probably in your package manager. It allows you to do a bunch of different dialogues, including a file select dialog. So again, uh, if we do this, we run it, we get the same list as we do in FCF. And uh, I can shift select, I can control select, I could probably use my arrows and I don't know if there's any way to the keyboard to select one and then go to another. If there is, let me know. I, I've never really thought about that before. Because you would use the mouse, which is fine. Whatever, we hit OK. It's going to convert those images. Let's look at that script. Oh, got to put a space there. OK. It's very similar to our last script. So here, we got our input directory, output directory, create that directory. Then we're running Zenity, and uh, we're going to get all the files and we're going to put them into a uh, variable, thank you, variable called files. As long as it's not blank, so basically if we hit cancel on the, the screen or we hit OK without selecting any, 
uh, it's just going to exit. Okay. Now, what do we do next? Well, then we're just going to echo out that list. Now, how does Zenity pass you the variables? So it's going to pass each file name separated by a pipe symbol. So to loop through the while loop, what I'm doing is I'm echoing out the entire list. And then I'm going to say with TR, replace all the pipe symbols with new line characters. That's the way I came up with it. There might be a better way, but that's the way I came up with it. And then loop through that. We're going to echo out uh, converting in the file name. And then we're going to, again, use that same image magic command, uh, which, again, has grayscale in there twice. And we really don't need that. I need to I can go ahead and probably remove that. Let's go ahead and delete all our output files. I will run my files Zenity. I'll just select two files, click OK. Make sure they still convert to grayscale. Yep. So that was a little typo on my part, but I will fix it and re-upload it to GitLab. So when you download it, hopefully it won't have that. But it didn't hurt anything to have that extra little grayscale option in there, unless it was converting it to grayscale twice. I don't know. So that is our Zenity option. Let's look at one more option here real quick. So if I do files, thumbs, what that's going to do is it's going to open up this uh, image viewer. And uh, we can, again, this one is a great option, except for the way it works is kind of funky. You're going to go and select your photos, or I guess M for mark. So M, and I'm going to select the photos. If I want to get a full size, I can hit enter to look at that. And again, down in the bottom corner here, uh, next to this 26, you can see an asterisk. That means this image is selected. If I hit M again, you can see it's unselected, selected, unselected. Um, I can hit spacebar to go to the next one. And I can go through these and select the ones I want. When I'm done, I just have to exit out of the program and it will process through them. So it's a good option, but uh, if you don't know how it works, who would think to press M to select something, right? Uh, let's look at the code though. Again, if you're writing this for yourself or workers that you're going to train on this, it's not a horrible option. Again, start off the same input, output, and it uh, also creates the directory. And then we're going to run the image viewer that we're using. It's called SXIV. It should be in your repositories for most distros, I believe. At least it is for Debian. And so I'm assuming all Debian-based distros. So we're running that. And uh, we're going to say dash O, I believe, is the option that allows you to mark and gives the output back to the script. And we're going to say T is we're going to start off in thumbnail mode. And then I'm giving it the directory I want to go to. So then when you exit that program, it's going to output all the ones you've marked. We're dumping into the while loop. Again, if none were marked, we're just going to break. If not, we're going to echo out. And you can tell that I copied this uh, command from script to script, because they're all basically the same scripts. So that's a, a quick look at those first three scripts. In the next two, we'll look more at the drag and drop options that uh, I had there for you. So thanks for watching. Again, if you want to look at these scripts, gitlab.com forward slash mailx1000 bash multi file select, and you can see all these options here. In the next two, we'll look at the drag and drop options. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.